and I'm just gonna tell you all about online school and my experience with it and why I'm doing it so um, I'm just gonna get started with a little bit about why I went to online school the reason why I went to online school is because um, I don't know like I was just over the whole high school thing and everyone always raves about how the high school experience is so great um I personally um, have had enough of the experience um I went to a public middle school and also, also high school um, middle school wasn't that great for me um, the public middle school that I went to um, seventh through just seventh grade I had a really hard time um, with some bullying issues and everything and it wasn't like even me that was like nothing about me was getting bullied it was like some rumors people made up and it was just like I don't know stupid because people are stupid anyway um that went on then I tried a private middle school private freshman year high school I really didn't like that either um I just wasn't happy with the way the learning was going everything so I just didn't like that either and I've always been like I don't know mature and I've just like I'm not really like a person who needs to like be around people all the time like I'm like down to business like I don't fool around and I just am so over I was just so over high school that um I was ready to you know pursue something at a faster pace so that's why I chose to go to online school um I know some other people who also do online school and another reason I went to online school is because I was just like go over the things that were going on at my public high school. It was just a, like a lot of bad things that were happening and I didn't, I wasn't like happy going to school every day but I went because I was learning and I have to go to school and um, yeah I had like, I had like a couple good friends. I'm happy with a couple good friends. I'm not a, near, a person who needs a huge amount of a friends group but I did have a couple friends um and I guess that's one of the main questions that people have at online school is like if you keep in touch with your friends um personally I've made new friends and I've left some of my old friends in the past um just for personal reasons I'm not gonna get into it but um I don't know I'm I'm a very mature person and I'm almost 18 years old so I just wanted to move on and I'm almost actually I'm, I'm a senior and I was I was a junior at um my public high school and um I'm going to be graduating this year of 2016 in December. Um, the way I did this whole junior year transferring into senior year so easily is because I really chose credits. Like I did cre more credits than I was supposed to do. R really, I did I did a combined of things. I did more senior credits this year than I would have had to done to do in the fall of 2016. So I did about 18 or. 16 credits this year and I think I had maybe five from freshman and sophomore year because I think in Ohio you have to have 21 at least to graduate. I really picked a lot of credits this year and I'm just I'm so happy with doing online school. I love online school. I get everything done and I am just I just feel so happy where I'm at. I feel happy with the f new friends I've made. I've been happy with my life changes. I'm more happy. Um, I feel like I'm more successful with online school and my grades have been so amazing um, than they've ever been in my whole entire school career. Um, I pretty much have all A's and like a couple B's and my hardest subject is math. So I guess that one's my downfall. That one's one of the B's that I have. And I have really saw a lot of improvement with that because, well, just the program I'm with is just amazing. So I'm gonna get on into more information and just transfer out of my story, my personal story. So I'm gonna get on to that. So with some of the questions people have um, about online school, the most popular ones I've been asked is, do you have online classes? Do you have teachers that you can ask questions to? Yes. Um, with my online school, I have teachers for every subject now. So I have a homeroom teacher and a counselor. So if I have any questions about any subjects, I go to one of the five or how many classes I have. And then if I want to add a class or I need help with a class, um, I do go to my counselor. Um, all the teachers are very helpful. Um, they always answer all my questions. I can text them or email them anytime or call them. And that's just so great. Um, they're just always helpful when I have questions and everything. So I really am thankful for great teachers. So then another question people have too is, how, do you have to keep track of hours? Yes, you do. 
I have to have 25 hours every week. So that's five days. That's five hours for five days. Um, I usually do not do school on Fridays because I double up my hours um, either throughout the week. Um, some days I do six hours, seven hours. It just depends. They do the hours. They're always the set amount of hours that you have to do. Um, state mandatory. So yeah, that's the hours portion. Um, homework. You never really have homework because you're always studying and doing the lessons online. And the program I go through is Connections Academy. And Connections Academy, I'm the most very, very pleased with. Um, I also tried this other program, wasn't so happy with it, but Connections is just so great. And I know a lot of people who've done Connections and have been really successful with it. So, I mean, my experience has been so amazing with it. You, you might have tried it or are in it or are just thinking of some good programs and connections. Um, I think they provide free, um, non-tuition-based um, public education um, throughout the 50 states. Um, I don't know if there's any states such as like California or anything that have to pay tuition. I'm not really sure. Um, in my state, I do not have to. And they also provide me with a computer. They provide me with a desktop. I do use that um, just because um, I don't know, it saves a lot more than it would have like a laptop. I did buy a Apple Mac uh, Book Pro and I do use that when I'm traveling or I'm just on the go and I want to use that. So I do own my own computer. Um, I would not be a fan of the laptop because it could have a lot of crashes and downfalls and things could not be saved. So I mean, desktop is like the best computer that you can get. A laptop is not. I guess I'm going to go into something else that's kind of controversial. Um, with my program, um, I've heard this from various different colleges I've applied to. I'm looking into going into a community co community college-based program, and I've heard that many of the programs do not provide you with a 100% high school diploma. And I do know of some programs that do provide you the GED, but they tell you, you're well, it's sufficient to a high school um, program. I do know someone who do, who does do a GED program, and that's all I'm going to say about that's all I'm going to say about that. So with notes and having school materials, um, I do need notebooks for every subject, and I do take notes on all of them. Um, I and I just keep notes for all my subjects to keep track of everything, and I do have a planner, but it's not with me right now. It's upstairs on my desk, and I'll have to do a desk tour sometime because I have it all preppy and all, like, I have a theme for it, so it's really interesting. <laughs> so I'll have to show you that sometime. But I do have a Kate Spade planner, and I do keep track of my hours, um, all the assignments that are due, and I do have, like, a goal for each thing that I'm completing. So, yep. And another thing that's most commonly asked, um, do you have set dates for things? Yes. Yes, I do. And it is, it's good to have set dates on things. You just don't want to be so, um, everywhere with everything. I think that there always should be a, a due date, and there always is with my program. Um, I, I, I always have a set date with, um, many of my assignments, reports, um, portfolios, which are, which is basically like a unit test slash project. So that's what they make for a project. I think that's really good to have a set date because it really keeps you organized. And they have a planner on the computer that just reminds you, oh, this is due, this is due. But um, for me, I'm usually ahead in all my subjects. I've already gotten through all my junior year of English, um, government, and I can't think of the other one right now. But if I think of it, I'll put it in the down bar. I am almost done with science. And math I still have left to do this year and um, I think I'm gonna do personal finance which is just a half quarter and um, that seemed really interesting and I'm just gonna get at that out of the way um since I am doing a lot of credits this year I only have two more classes to complete next year which is a math class and an English and I'm very very thankful that connections have allowed me to work ahead um, I'm I'm very ahead um, in I think like farther ahead of anyone in my class right now. Um, with that being said, I do study a lot. Um, that's where most of my hours come from since I am so ahead. I study a lot and I've maintained a, um, a GPA of 3.6 and I'm very, very happy about that. For me, that's, that's great. Like I've never been a straight A student, but this has very much allowed me to do better in my studies and everything. 
And if you're considering doing online school because you're, you're um, always traveling or in a competition team, which I know a lot of my friends do cheerleading competitions and they want to do like online school because they don't have time, well then that's for you. Um, or if you work or you just like want more free time, then I totally do this. But for my sake, I'm trying to graduate early so I can go on to what I want to do in college. And I, I'm so looking forward to my future here um, in a few months. And I'm just so happy that I've had the chance to do online school. And it's really been a blessing to me. And throughout my whole um, experience of, of going through school, online has been the best thing for me. And I've always been so much sure. And online school has been so good to me. Um, I prefer it over my high school. I do not miss high school. I do not miss any of it. I do miss seeing people, like my old friends every day. Um, but for the most part, I do not miss it. I do not miss the drama. I do not miss any of it. And my beliefs, I think that it, it was in my plans to do online school. Um, so yeah, um, I've grown up so much since I've done online school. I have so much more free time and um, I work mostly um, throughout every day of the week. Um, that's allowed me to do that, and I really am happy with that, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I've forgotten. Um, maybe along with the computer thing, you do get that free, you do not have to pay for it. They do, uh, refund you for how much you pay for the internet and everything. So, that's, I mean, like, use it for ink, and that's what I used it for. Um, I know they do that every couple months with connections. I have not heard anything about any other programs doing that. Um, I did check into a couple other programs, but this one seemed the best because they're so, like, less strict than a lot of other programs. Um, I do have the live sessions, and I did have to attend them while semester one was going, now while I was working through the semester. But after I finished the whole semester, I did not attend anymore. So I do not count that as my hours. Only went to the math, which was required of me. So that's really a big plus too. Um, with with online school, it is less of a hassle to get up. Um, I know when I was back in public school, I would have to get up at maybe five o'clock and be at the door at seven o'clock to catch the bus or just to make it to school. And now I start my days at about 8 or 9 o'clock, which is like, I can just wake up in my pajamas, wash my face, like drink a cup of coffee, and then get started on school. And there's never a set time when you have to do school, which is so nice. I love not having a set time to go to school. Not that I'm, I, not that I'm like that, but there is still exams in online school, but not as many as you would in a public high school. So yeah, I still have a graduation and everything and I can still go to prom, so, um, yeah. I guess that's it, and if I can think of anything else that has to do with online school, I will comment it down below. Um, comment any of your uh, other questions you have for me, and I'll definitely get to them. I really enjoy online school, and for any of you thinking about doing it, I'd really recommend it. I loved it, and yep, so have a great day, and subscribe. Thumbs this up if you enjoyed it. Um, the next video I'm planning on doing, I think it's going to be some advice videos. Not really sure. Um, maybe a makeup tutorial or something. But comment any of your video ideas down below. And I'd love to do them. So, yep. Yeah, have a great day. Bye.